Good morning, everyone. Well, I don't. Oh, yeah, you can say good morning. Good morning, everyone. I don't have a bag of tricks or hats. I don't really know how to follow on from that. What a performance. Um, anyway, who loves getting an invite to a big party with lots of delicious food? Yep, I love food. We all love that. Everybody loves that. And I know someone that particularly likes lollies and chippies at parties. Are they the things you like too? Yeah. Well, in today's passage from Revelation, we're going to hear about two great big feasts. Now, they're two great big banquets, and we don't really use those words, and it's like a party, but even better. So we don't often use those words. They're way bigger, and they're even fancier. Now, one of these feasts is a wonderful description of God's God's people being with God, and it's described as a wedding banquet. Have you ever been to a wedding? Put your hand up if you've been to a wedding. And so there's some of you that haven't been to a wedding, which is totally fine, and they are really, really fancy parties. They have lots of decorations and they have really fancy food, so even better than a birthday party. And it all looks beautiful and the bride wears white and looks really fancy and everybody wears their best get-up. You wear your best outfit to a wedding. And then the passage goes on and it talks about a feast that's not so lovely and it's not so fancy. It's actually really horrible and really savage. And they describe what happens to all those who reject Jesus and decide to follow that lady we talked about last week. Can you remember the lady that Kim mentioned last week? Started with a B. You tell. Babylon. So these are the people that are following Babylon. Now, everyone in all the world, so not just here in Narrabri, not in Australia, but in the whole world. Oh, it's upside down. There, that's better. Everyone in the whole world. And even the people that are not here anymore will be at one of these feasts. And you can't be at two feasts. You can only be at one feast. And these banquets and feasts are descriptions of what will happen when Jesus comes back to judge the world. In fact, Jesus is at the heart of knowing which feast you're going to be at. Meeting Jesus, knowing Jesus, following Jesus. Do you know what that might look like? No. No? Oh, good. Glad you're honest. What might it look like to follow Jesus? What are some of the things that you might do or see happening? I'm not a perfect student today. Sorry. You may obey him. You might be reading your Bible. You're trusting that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And people that follow Jesus, they're going to be at that first feast, the good, fabulous banquet. And that's great. And you can learn more about that by reading your Bible. But on the other hand, not following Jesus to that feast that's not enjoyable or fun, is a horrible feast. So you need to have a think about this and maybe you could talk to mum or dad or whoever brought you to church later and think about which feast would you like to be at? Which feast are you going to be at? And then Alice is going to pray for us. Come up here. Father God, thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you that we can be at the best feast eternally if we trust and know you. Help us know you better and read our Bibles. Please help us to share the good news of Jesus with those around us. Amen. 